All right, first things first, going inside Earth Explorer gift shop and get a hat, I hope. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I'm in Asheboro, North Carolina and today I am checking out the North Carolina Zoo. Now this is the world's largest natural habitat zoo. Acreage wise, they have 2,600 acres with 500 of those acres actually developed. They have five miles of walking trails, lots to see and do. It's supposed to be a nice day. As you can see, I got my hat right at the beginning, and I also got a button for my donation, upcharge for the hat. So it was $26 total. So I was happy to get a hat. I have been wanting to come to the zoo for quite some time. Had the opportunity as it is on the way towards my next destination on this particular road trip. So I'm excited to be here. Hopefully we'll see lots of animals. This zoo is so large. In fact, they have multiple entrances. I am in the North America entrance. The African entrance, which is on the other side of the park, is actually open also. But I figure it's easier to start on one end and work my way over. So it didn't really matter what side I started at. You end up seeing everything. There's tram service here. In case you get tired, like I said, five miles of walking is going to be a lot. So I make sure I'll stretch before I start. All right, so you do have wheelchair and stroller rentals right here at the front. These are the rental fees. All right, so this is the zoo map. The state I am on North America section. All right, so starting out, walking across the bridge. This is what we'll see on the right side of the bridge. Lovely body of water. All right, according to the clock, it is 9.20. Zoo open at 9. So there is lots of signage around with directional arrows let you know the different areas to go to. We start out with the Cypress Swamp. So from the main trail, it's on here to the left. All right, right through here. All right, so this is a cypress swamp. Got these in Florida also. Some of the plants you'll see here. Venus flytrap, oh, that's interesting. Oh, this is really cool. Got this cougar sculpture. Top of the rocks. All right, so first up, North American alligator. You can see an alligator right here in the water. Got anatomy of an alligator. This is a life size alligator on this signage. Usually you see just the head or eyeball sticking up like this guy. Got the snout sticking up and the eyeballs. So usually the hind end or the tail is touching the bottom. All right, destination North Carolina. All right, cougar. You're walking by. <coughs> Cooper definitely gets its exercise also. So a natural habitat. As you can see. I see one, bars. I see a cougar, I see a cougar. Oh yeah, he's All right, wetland homes. Got an eastern indigo snake. Very nice. The Carolina gopher frogs. Mm -hmm. 
cute little froggy. Alligator snapping turtle. This guy's actually on the side with his head sticking up. There's the body. Very brackish water, so it's a little difficult to see him, but luckily he's close enough. An American alligator. This is one of the larger gators. And there's a second gator with just his head sticking up. His head. Just up above view of the one alligator that we saw. Just the head sticking up. And that was the other one that I showed you. Got American Toad. Right here on the corner. Yeah, good bald cypress swamps. So yeah, they do have lots of different animals that call habitats like this home. Next up we're going to the marsh. Rocky Coast. So this is the body of water that I showed you right on the side of the bridge. Got marvelous marshes. Got all the different flowers. Different animals that call marshes their home. So quite a few different animals. Of course you got ducks and snakes and raccoons and froggies. Got a turtle. Enjoying the water. And of course the lily pads, fish, and a duck. Gotta imagine this is where Kermit the Frog would live. Alright, next area up is Rocky Coast. And we're gonna see some harbor seal. Harbor seal habitat. There's no seal. Mm -hmm. One of the seals just swam out from hiding. Has a yummy Got a North American porcupine. Is the porcupine? This guy's got a very cool looking habitat. I right, got the underwater view. There's lots of condensation on the glass right now. So we've got a good view of them from above. So seals and sea lions in their element. All right, so following the path, come to another underwater view. See one of the harbor seals. And there he goes. All right, seabirds at home at sea. We're gonna see some horn puffin, parakeet auklet, thick-billed myrrh. And take care of seabirds. Lots of condensation on the glass. You can still see the different birds. Puffins are really cool looking. Heard they make a decent cereal also. It's like sharing the ocean. Just a portion of their habitat, underwater view. Now I do see a worker in there, so the polar bears will not be out at the same time. So I'm gonna have to check back in this area a little bit later. All about the polar bear. 
additional polar bear habitat. So this is right near the front, so I will be able to check this out a little bit later. There's the ice cave. They might be inside. So right outside, before we go in, we got an Arctic fox. And I see the Arctic fox right up there. Looks like he just got up from a nap because he's stretching. Oh my god, he's so cute. So cute. Wow. He's got an itch. He's scratching. Very, very cute. Put the screen here. Very, very strong. Very nicely themed. This is the outside habitat of the polar bear. And there's a polar bear in the water. Again, there's lots of condensation on the glass. I'm glad I was able to see the polar bear. Got lots of nice area for them. Definitely enjoying the water. And what is a habitat? This is a side view of the polar bear's outside habitat. We got a wild burger in North Carolina. Got the mini board. They're not quite open just yet. Well, they got two waters. Okay, right across from Wild Burger, you got Garden Friends Playground for the Kids. All right, so showing you the map again. Just did the rocky coast. So I'm going to continue down the path to Streamside and Black Bears and Elk and going to continue along. Next up is Streamside. Let's get right in here. Alright, the Streamside. Alright, you see some different fish in here. You see a black crappy, red breast sunfish, bluegill sunfish, short nosed sturgeon, long nosed gar, red ear sunfish, and a river cooter. The river cooters are right here between the rocks and the glass. They usually do that so they can sleep. It's a sturgeon. Some of the smaller fish. You see long nose gar. We got these fish. A hellbender salamander. More of the fish that are in this in this tank. Trying to find a salamander. Found one of the hellbenders. Or his head anyway, sticking out. That's what I was say this one is his Another of the hellbenders right here. I can take you home. Very nice fish in here also. Oh, did the trick for me. Alright, got North American River Otter. Now the sun is shining right along here. So I'm going to try and show them to you. Might be a lot of reflection though. It's kind of towards the back there.
kind of hanging out around that same area. See his tail. Information on bats. Helping bats help us. This is the outside habitat for the North American River Otter. Alright, continuing along the, the path. Gonna go inside this building now. Alright, barred owl. Wow, this is a really nice habitat. Here, barred owl. Very nice. I'm flying back and forth. Yeah, we've got a Carolina pygmy rattlesnake. Oh, okay. Alright, well now we know what the bird was flying back and forth for. Got one of the workers in there feeding them. Eat your mousey. <laughs> got it. Alright, we got Copperhead. We got Timber Rattlesnake. Very nice looking habitats. Timber Rattlesnake. And we're going to see a Pine Snake. We got a Black Rat Snake. Also, very nice habitat. Right up against the thing here. He's up on a tree. Uh -huh. And there's another one. There's another one. Got an eastern cottonmouth. Love this guy's habitat also. There's also another one back in that corner right there. Right here. Just curled up watching everybody. And we got a spotted turtle. Man, this guy's got a fantastic habitat, also. He's here in the bottom. Very aptly named. Alright, we got Bobcat. Alright, so I currently do not see the Bobcat out. Sure he's in here, just hiding right now. So I'll check back later. All right, so just give anybody a quick FYI. This place is not flat. There's a lot of elevation changes. There are stairs or there are ramps for people that have wheelchairs or strollers. There is lots of shade, so you're not out in the bright sunshine the whole time. But I did have a hat just in case of the sunshine. So very fantastic zoo so far i just got just a very smidgen small part of it so far but i'm still loving it already this showing you an example of what i just said there's stairs here there's also ramps for people that can't do the stairs all right so black bear all right just showing you this beautiful habitat for this black bear He's laying right here, having a nap. Very, very cool. Even more nice habitat for him. Big old bear paws and claws. This is really nice. All right, next up is the prairie. All right, American bison. Get one out by itself. And you got four of them all together. These guys got lots and lots of space to roam around. That's the good thing about this zoo, is they have plenty of acreage. Get a little squirrely here, nibbling on some leaves. We got elk. 
So there's supposed to be elk in this habitat with the American bison. Don't see any elk yet. Maybe we'll see them a little bit further up the path. Alright, so from the next vantage point over, do you see the elk? There's a two more. And one lone bison over here also. Yeah, the bison were hunted almost to extinction. Now this is fantastic. Full size bison. This is a statue or sculpture, whichever you want to call it. All right, so the prairie geyser is closed for maintenance. All right, and there's one more vantage point. You need to see the elk. Definitely lots of move around space. All right, we got prairie popcorn and drinks. This is their menu board. Directly across from that is restroom locations. All right, so I got myself a little snack, refillable drink bottle, and a Bavarian pretzel with cheese. All right, grizzly bear habitat is closed. So no grizzly bears. All right, red wolves. Red wolfy habitat. There's a red wolf. Here's one of the red wolves. Very nice. Red wolf! It's like what's your wingspan? You can stretch out your arms and see how you measure up to these different birds. Got reliable reptiles. This is nice. You can tell we're getting close to the desert. Oh, I was right. All right, so showing the map again. We are just about halfway in between the two. Between North America and Africa. Checking out the desert. All right, so yeah, next area up is desert. Land of surprises. Gonna be going in here. So if it's not hot enough out here in the sun, gonna go inside the desert. It must be crazy. Before we go in, we're gonna see some ocelot. I'm sorry. Hey, you stay over here. Where's the ocelot? Oh, I realize there's a lot of reflection, but this guy's got a really nice habitat. Additional habitat on this side. I love all the plant life. All right, defining deserts. First up, we got some beaded lizard and Gila monster. And you can see the Gila monster. There you go, trying to get a better view of them. Now, I do not see the beaded blizzard. So he's going to be in here somewhere, up on the rocks, or hiding somewhere. We've got a pygmy spiny tailed skink. There he is. Very cute. I got a greater roadrunner and a burrowing owl. I'm trying to see him, I don't see either one right now. Alright, see the burrowing owl, some little girl pointed them out to me. Alright, so this habitat has a multitude of different animals, including a giant plated lizard, ornate ermostix, a Gorongaza girdled lizard, and finally a pancake tortoise. Let's get the turtle down there having a salad. One of the nice lizards. 
Another one of the turtles. Or tortoise, rather. I know ahead of time, I may not be able to see every single critter that's in these habitats. Just because of the way they're designed, there's a lot of little crevices and holes these other little animals can hide into. Got a chuckwalla. And, and with a chuckwalla, you got a collared lizard. How you doing, Chuck? How you doing? Very nice. So I'm trying to find the other lizard. But as I just stated, there's just lots of spaces these guys can get into. All right, my absolute favorite two bird, the laughing kookaburra. All right, now I apologize for the reflection, but that is the laughing kookaburra. There you go, you can hear him. All right, this next habitat's gonna have some spiny-tailed monitor, Hosmer's skink, and blue tongue skink. See a couple of the lizards here. And the next lizard is in the back here. There we go. Hiding all the way in the back. And there's various different birds that are flying loose in here also. Additional birds. Now I hear lots and lots of different birds. But I haven't really seen any yet. I right, take that back. There's one up here in the nest, looks like. Uh, Cape porcupine. Trying to see the porcupine. Again, I apologize for the reflection and lots of handprints on the glass. There's three different windows you can look in. And you don't see them in any of them. All right, so do the reflection. I'm not sure if it's going to show up on my camera, but he's in his back little crevice right here. So I'll check back a little bit later, if I remember anyway. It's a Colorado River Toad. Here we go. Now we've got a Desert King Snake. All right, so Desert King Snake is right here. Again, there's a lot of reflection. Got the banded rock rattlesnake. On the bottom. Got a speckled rattlesnake. Very cool looking. Welcome to the nocturnal desert. We're gonna see some beaded lizard and Gila monster. So the Gila monsters earlier, but we missed the beaded lizard. So I'm glad this habitat has them here also. Beaded lizard is a whole lot larger than the Gila monster. <gasps> very nice habitats in here. Like a vampire bat. And the bat cave. Yeah. Where where Batman is. This is the bat cave. I'm trying to look up. See if I see any bats. I don't see any bats. There are a couple in here that are just usually up high. Look, it says they hang out in the far right corner or the back left corner. Got sand cat. So I'm trying to see the sand cat, but I do not currently see him. So probably in the back. But they can also go up high. So I just do not currently see him, so I'll be checking back later. So this is additional habitat for the sand cat. Still do not see him. Got a sidewinder. There's a sidewinder. Where life is difficult, it seems to acquire a higher value. So very true. 
All right, so the Desert Dome was not hot at all. You have big air conditioning vents along the, the ground as you walk through, blowing up very nice cold air. So it's actually very comfortable in there. All right, we got Honey Bee Garden. Bees are vital to our existence. So bees do not want to sting you. That's a big bee. Got honeybee baskets. So this is an example of a honeycomb. Traveling honeybees. Thank bees for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Benefits for all. Not just honey. Be neighbors. Five talking. Work, work, work. And this is a real beehive. There is the tunnel. So the bees get out, collect the pollen, and they come back to the hive and name that native bee. So you see the bees coming and going. Got lots of nice plants here for the bees. Beetles, bees, butterflies, birds, bats, and bugs. And more than just honeybees. So word of advice before you come to North Carolina Zoo, wear comfortable shoes. Because there is lots and lots of walking. All right, so we're at Crossroads Junction. This is right between the Africa side and North America side. We're gonna go inside Junction Springs Cafe. All right, this is the menu board. All right, they also have Crossroads Pizza. This is their menu. They also have the Coop food truck. And that is their menu board. All right, so showing you the map again. We are right where it says B. So Africa section is next. You have Junction Traders, gifts, souvenirs, and toys. There's also a tram stop location. That says as a small gift shop. That's any upcharge attractions like Butterfly Garden and Carousel can be purchased right here. Restroom locations right behind. You have the carousel. So carousel's three dollars. You got Connection Creamery. This is their offerings. All right, you got Kaleidoscope Butterfly Garden. This is also an upcharge, so three dollars, and I got my got my little ticket. Oh yeah, lots of fluttery butterflies going all around. Wow. You definitely want to watch where you're walking in here. Oh, lots of flowers in here that make the butterflies happy. Remember not to touch them, okay? Just look. These are all the different butterflies that are in here. Oh, a bunch of different ones. Very colorful. Got the food dish here. That is really cool. They're all up there this feeding. Like the yeah, lots and lots of fluttery butterflies. He's all over. He is. I wonder what he's These are all real butterflies. In different stages. 
So yeah, they're even on the walking paths, so you definitely got to be careful. But yeah, lots of pretty flowers in here. Very suitable for the butterflies. Wow, lots of them over here. Before you go. All right, so I'm officially entering the African section of the zoo. Very lush landscaping around this area. All right, my second favorite type of zoo bird, Chilean flamingo. Very nice. As I said, them are tired and they're kind of laying down. I guess they're not sitting down, maybe, I don't know. All right, up next to R.J. Reynolds Forest Aviary. Tropical frogs. Oh my God, Panamanian golden frog. Oh man, fantastic habitat here. I see a golden frog right there. Really cool. There's also a little small frog in here too with him. See some pleasing poison dart frog. Now I hope I see one of these, please. See what I did there? The other side. Can I see one? Here we go. And there's another one. A rainforest where life is celebrated. Products, a tropical connection. Up in smoke, the forests are burning. All right, these are all the different birds that are in this forest aviary. It is extremely humid in here. Right, this nice bird here. This lovely bird here. So we're inside another dome. Lots of plant life in here. All right, trying to show you this really pretty bird here. Got yellow around its eyes. Got some blue and green. There we go. Ah, that's a pretty bird. Really love all the different plant life in here. And trees. You want the other birds? Looks like the water is not working right now. So I'm guessing this would normally be a waterfall. But it's dry. There we go. We got a four cents tortoise. It should be him right here or her. See this really pretty bird. Black, a little bit of yellow on the back of it. Trying to follow him. There we go. with the desert dome you do have air conditioning vents and the floor first part of them weren't working now it's actually blowing cooler air same food for gorillas So showing the map again, so you see right where I'm at, that red dot, so we're close to gorillas, which we'll be coming up to next, just came out of the forest aviary, 
All right, so baboons are up this way, but the trail is closed for maintenance. But this way for the African habitats. Got a treehouse track. This is an upcharge of three dollars. So this is treehouse track. All right, gorillas. Those of you that enjoy reading all of the information. Western Lowland Gorilla. These are the Western Lowland Gorillas. Lots of smudges on the glass. Okay. Here you go. Oh, no, all over. That would have been a cute picture. These guys got a really good habitat. Oh, oh. Whoa. <laughs> Pay attention to me. Okay, okay, okay. Look at it. I don't want it. This is other side view. Another one. Taking a nap. He's got a fan blowing on him. That's how I'd be. If I, you know, if I was wearing a fur coat like that. No one's coming over. Rolling over a little bit. He's not going to get me. You see on the big one? Look right there. He's sleeping. All right, we got Lemur Island. Says, lemurs got their name from the Latin word meaning a spirit. Here we got lemurs, red rough lemur and a ring tailed lemur. And I currently don't see any of them. Probably somewhere in the shade, just a snoozing. Another side view of the lemur island. The lemurs are here in this big log. And one of the ring lemurs just came out. You can barely see his tail sticking out. Here's one of the ring lemurs. Now they're both here behind this bush. You see a tail sticking out. And this is the left side view. All right, so I've come to a crossroads to the left. Got Watini grasslands, elephant and giraffe. And to the right, we got lemur, chimpanzee, and a lion. Not really sure if it connects in a loop. Hopefully it does. So I think since we already saw a lemur, we're going to go to the right. You can see a chimpanzee and lion. Oh no, this is nice also. Now we got Katira Forest. And going, going, gone. Here we can see the chimpanzees. See one underneath. Chimpanzee sculpture. Okay, got Katera Forest Education Center, bb and Chimpanzee Reserve. So the design of this area is really nice. The chimpanzees of Katera Forest. Guys relaxing in the hammock. It's very comfortable. This is another view. That's the one that was inside or underneath, holding on to the vine. The mommy, the baby is right here. I'm trying to get a view of the baby. We stopped right behind that little stump. 
Here we go, there's a little baby. Look at African lion. The male lion just got up, situation himself, and lay down again. Got the lioness down here, and the male lion just laid down. These guys got nice space here to walk around in. Here we go, side view. Next up, we got Red River Hog. These are some cool looking pigs. Just trying to find them. So the piggies are all the way in the back. Have a piggy nap. There we go. Red River Hog right there. There's another one on the other side of the tree. Got some friendly neighbors. It's pretty realistic, do you? These three animals live together. Alright, so we got Grant's zebra. I know it is. Square. They're not squares, but they're kind of like different shapes. And ostrich. Yeah, it's working. And reticulated giraffe. Good. And I see an ostrich. There's a female ostrich. Man, look at the size of them drumsticks. All right, zebras. You can see the giraffe. You see the turtles? Look at the turtles. Put your water down. A big old turtle. The water around this habitat here. Like one of the giraffes is coming out a little further. All right, over here by Akiba Market. This is the African entrance. We got a Billy D's fried chicken. All right, it's their menu board. All right, so it's the African side exit and entrance. So just like the North American side, we have gift shops here. And right next door is the Leopard Spot gift shop. As you see right where I'm at, African entrance down at the bottom. So we still got the right side of the map to do. Got the African tram location. All right, this is another view of the habitat that has the ostrich, zebra, and giraffe. All right, we're at the Watani Grasslands Reserve. Diversity of the grasslands. This is the mini map for this area. All right, African elephant. There we go. Very, very nice. You guys got very nice water hole here to be in. Got some dung beetles. Interesting. All right, so the African elephants have lots and lots of space. 
And we are all congregated there over here. Another body of water here for them to be in. Look, Mama's in charge. All right, next up, we got the Rhino Trail. Okay. Look at that. I used to have it on the weeds. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's like a white-tailed deer. Kind of in-between habitats, looks like. Got vultures. Lots of spider webs too. So here's the animals we're going to see here. Some Thompson's gazelle. White rhinoceros. Greater kudu. Fringe-eared oryx. Satanga and waterbuck. Lots and lots of space. You see more of the animals around the corner. All along the fence. So I'm hoping there's going to be another viewing area further up this trail. Because right now this is pretty much all that I've seen. Not that I mind these animals here. Our restroom locations right here. All right, so it's the far outskirts of the habitat that has the ostrich, zebra, and giraffe. All right, so showing you the map again. See right where I'm at, right near the giraffe deck. So, more than likely, I'm not gonna be able to see the rhinoceros because the other trail for the baboons is currently closed. And it looks like we're gonna have some rain. So I might not be able to show you the animals that I missed. I will try though. All right, so I've completed my walkthrough of North America and African section. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see any of the rhinos. As I mentioned, there is some ominous looking clouds. We're supposed to be getting rain uh, the next few hours. So as long as it's not raining, I'm gonna continue to do a rewalk. Other viewing areas for the rhinoceros are currently closed because of construction in that area. They're doing renovations. So I don't believe I'm gonna be able to show you the, the rhinoceros. I showed you a couple of the animals that are in that actual habitat with them. But as far as showing you the others, I don't think I'm gonna be able to, mainly because it's inaccessible where they probably are. All right, so I came back to Lemur Island. A lot of the ring-tailed lemurs are out. I've yet to see any of the red-tailed lemurs. But hey, at least I get to show you the ring-tailed. They're the most popular breed of lemurs anyway. Alright, so I'm back in Junction Plaza. With the, with the exception of some of the animals that were in the Watani Grasslands Reserve that I won't be able to show you. There were a few animals that I didn't get to see the first time in North America. Especially in the earlier portion of the day. So I'm going to head back through that way and hopefully get to show you the animals I didn't get to see the first time. Back at the ocelot. He's not walking around. Here we go. All right, so I'm back in the desert dome. Got some Gila monsters here along the bottom. The first time I was through here, the sun was shining right through. So a lot of the smaller critters that were along the rocks, I couldn't even see into their habitat. So that's the main reason why I came back. Back here at the Chuckwalla. He's right up there. Man, it's a good thing he's not at a real campfire, man. He'd have hot foot right now. Yeah, I got the little lizards. Yo. 
one of the guys I missed earlier. Got the toads. Trying to block the light. Trying to show you the porcupine. So he's still basically in the same spot as he was before. The glass is very scratched up and smudged. That's pretty much what my camera's trying to pick up, rather than the animal behind it. All right, we got a desert tarantula. Tarantula is right here. Got a western hognose snake. And our snakey is right here at the top. Again, there's a lot of reflection here still. There we got a desert king snake. There we go. It's got a nice habitat. I got the beaded lizard and gila monster. Came back hoping to see the sand cat, but sadly I do not see him still. What is what the sand cat looks like? Really super cute. Back at the red wolf. He's still in the same spot as he was earlier. That's a fake frog, Koopa. Taking a nap still, or well, kind of. That's real. That, yeah. Everybody yelling and howling at him and barking at him. Alright, so currently the North Carolina Zoo only has two continents represented, which would be North America and Africa. However, they are in staging, planning stages, and I think construction right now of two new continents that will be represented at this zoo, Asia and Australia, Asia being the larger of the two new continents. Not really sure how their construction progress is going because of the whole pandemic and closure situation. So like most facilities, any construction was more likely halted during the last year. So it's supposed to be sometime in 2023 for Asia, no word on Africa yet, but it's possibly pushed back maybe 2024. I haven't seen anything new. Correct me if I'm incorrect. If you've seen anything, leave some comments down below if you know any additional information on the two new continents. Now I did state earlier that the grizzly bear habitat is currently closed. So just in case you've never seen a grizzly bear before, that's what they look like. All right, so I'm back at the bobcat habitat. Still not seeing them. I'm looking all over for him. So he's probably somewhere towards the back. But I just can't get a good view of him. But I found a good picture online. I'm going to show you this is what the bobcat looks like, just in case you've never seen one. You got cute little stubby tails. Back at the snakies. The Tampa Rider snake is just slithering around. Too bad I can't speak parcel tongue like Harry Potter. To be able to let the snake out. Just remember, snakes have rights too. That's right. All right, back at the North American River Otter habitat. Trying to see them. Someone's in a overhead location earlier. It's a really nice underwater view. If only they were out here. So I've come back a few times. And uh, I don't see the North American River Otter, so here's a nice picture of a North American River Otter I found for you online. It's the best I can offer you. Back at the big fish habitat. Turtles right above. Oh, wow, that's one. Look at that! Look at that! Alright, so I'm back near the polar bears. This is an additional habitat that I didn't show you earlier because I completely missed this path. But lots more water. Back at the harbor seal habitat. And there are two in here. And there's the other one. Gonna do an opposite direction laps. Underwater view. Oh, swung by. <laughs> Back at the puffins. 
Still lots of condensation on the windows. Oh, there's one right there. Ooh. Them little feet right there. Oh, All right, because there was so much condensation on the windows this morning, yeah. you might not have seen this area of the habitat very good for the polar bears. But he's not in here either. Well, Back at the Arctic fox. There's two of them now. Well, I saw one of them earlier. They're playing. Get some sharp toothies on them though. Oh god, they are adorable. Especially the little one. It's like, play with me. I want to bite you. This is the same area of the habitat that I saw the polar bear this morning. Or part of it anyway. He was right here in this water. But I don't even see him in here now. So polar bears are suffering habitat loss at an alarming rate. So here's some of the ways that you can help. All right, so I'm back near the front where I came in, which is the North American entrance. I apologize that I wasn't able to show you all of the animals. There were a few elusive ones that just didn't want to be out because it's probably too hot. I did go back a few times to some of the areas, North American River otters. But where I didn't get to see the animals, I'll show you a picture that I found online. I know it's not as good as a real live animal, but I can't help that. It's totally the animal's choice whether or not they want to be outside, viewable to the people, or stay inside. More than likely, the polar bear was probably somewhere where it's air conditioned or a lot cooler than it is outside since they are used to colder climates than what they have here in North Carolina. So I'm gonna go out through the gift shop where I got my hat, show you briefly through there, and then I'm gonna wrap up my visit. All right, Earth Explorer gift shop. All right, so this is where I got my hat this morning. But they also have shirts and lots of other little trinkets. Kid size hats and shirts, carrying bags, lots of other odds and ends, toys, got some masks, lots of plush, and visors, other hats, other assorted toys and action shirts, and of course other little little jewelry and stuff like that you can get. They also have a nice selection of magnets and sugar candy, pucker powder. All right, everybody, that concludes my visit to the North Carolina Zoo. I had a fantastic time, lots and lots and lots of walking. As I stated during my video, the habitats are spread out. So five miles of walking trails, that doesn't mean there's gonna be five miles of all habitats. There were a few animals that I did not get to show you for various reasons. I did try to go back. Rhinoceros, that area, as I stated, I wasn't able to show you all of the available views because some of it was closed off. So, all in all, I didn't miss a whole lot. So now, um, natural habitats, which I really, really enjoy, so much nicer. What animals have a lot of space to roam around in, such as the African elephants, which are the larger of the two species that you typically see in zoos in North America. So let me know in the comments down below what your favorite zoo animal is, whether or not I saw it here or not. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It is growing slowly, but it is gaining more popularity. Over 90% sometimes of my views are from non-subscribers. My zoo and aquarium videos are by far the most popular viewed videos on my channel. There are some of you that do enjoy theme parks, which I'm hoping to start getting back to theme parks very, very soon. 
if not on this trip, then definitely next year I will be adding more theme parks into the rotation. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.